Okay, real quick video to show you how to rip CDG discs, karaoke discs, to your hard drive uh, using Audio Grabber. Audio Grabber is really uh, a, a really light running, free software. It's freeware uh, that you can download. Um, there's a direct zip file link. I've got it uploaded to my website. You can d download the zip file directly from the description of this video and uh, install it on your computer. Um, I've already inserted a CDG and now I'm going to open Audio Grabber and show you how to use it just strictly for ripping the CDG to your hard drive. Now as you can see it already recognized the title tracks and the artist's name. If it hasn't, then I would click the little penguin here. And this would search the database and find these names. Okay, now this is a compilation disc, meaning that it has a lot of different artists' names and a lot of different uh, titles for each of these artists. This is the, it's a party time karaoke CD, and this is the, the manufacturer's CD code. Okay? Album's not important. We know it's karaoke, and this is from the year 2007, this particular disc. So you want to click this button, which is the MP3 button, which, which actually makes a separate folder with just the MP3 tracks um, of each of these songs, which you can use or decide to delete. This will be separate from your karaoke um, tracks, your CDG file and your MP3 file. Or in this case, it'll be a WAV file. Now we want to go to CD, grab CD tracks, grab CDG tracks, karaoke, and I go all the way down to the bottom here. Now, just click that, and it's going to rip these tracks from the disc. So let's watch it as it rips the tracks from the disc. Okay, we have continued the ripping process and completely finished. This entire CDG has been ripped to a folder that I already designated, which is here. Okay, now each one of these is a CDG file and a WAV file. Okay, these are the karaoke songs on that disc. This here is nothing but the mp3 tracks without vocals to those I have absolutely no use for this folder so I delete that okay now I'm going to show you eject this disk so I can read the disk number I've already ripped and cataloged this particular karaoke CD into this folder which is uh, 1017. This is this folder here. Separated by uh, a WAV file and CDG file. Now, let's talk about naming your tracks. If you have a humongous library like I per personally have, and you use software like, let's say, CompuHost, karaoke software, you'll want to name it. This is the CD... Uh, the manufacturer of the CB, CD um, number this is track number 6 it's Leanne Rhymes and the song is named Blue you want her last name first comma space first name and then a dash and the name of the song the reason why is when you're searching for a karaoke song in, 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 in CompuHost just as an example Type in the last name, like Twain. Type in Twain, and what song is this? You're still the one. So type in Twain, the one, and it'll come up, still the one. You don't have to type in the entire artist name or the entire song title. It'll take you forever. Um, the cool thing about using CompuHost uh, karaoke software, I actually run a DJ show, so I learned the shortest ways to get a job accomplished. Type in the last name of the artist. Very few artists have the last name, the same one. 
and if they do, um, type in their first name and, and just the main keyword out of the song title, and it'll come up. Um, if you look here, this is all of the discs that I have from Party Time. And this is all of the karaoke that I have, just at different kinds. These are all albums, volume one, blah, 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 and you go on and so forth. And some of them are just numbered. One through 500, there's 2,300, there's, oh, that's still counting. In this particular folder, there's 9,965 songs. Actually, you cut that in half because there's two files per song, you know, and on up. But that's how I catalog it. All-Star Karaoke, Chart Buster, Karaoke Bay, Karaoke Party, Party Time, Predis, Sound Choice, Spotlight. You know, I mean, each one of these folders has literally thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of songs. But I run such a, uh, I run, uh, you know, a show where you can literally pick any song ever been on the top 40, ever been on the Billboard charts. And I've got it because if somebody comes to one of my karaoke shows and I don't have a song that they want to hear, I'll download it immediately, purchase it off the internet, and I'm done. So anyway, that's how you rip a disc. Don't forget if you insert a disc and it doesn't have any uh, artist or track info, click the little penguin and it'll find it for you. If it doesn't find it for you, which sometimes it doesn't, then you'll have to name each track yourself. Just go ahead and rip it and then name it. Because normally, your disc will have um, the track name, um, artist, and uh, title. Okay, so that's how you use Audio Grabber. Um, there is a link in the description to download Audio Grabber directly from my website. Um, it's a direct link to the zip file. You don't have to register for anything. I can't stand it when people do that. Um, there is also a disc... Um, a link to K-Lite, which is a codec plugin. Like, let's say that you try to play a file on your computer and it won't play, but you know it's a good file because you bought it or ripped it from a disc or something like that. Uh, download K-Lite Codec Pack. It's on. There's a direct link to my uh, to that on my website as well below the description. And install the Codec Pack. Don't click anything. Just go ahead and install it from beginning to end. Don't change any of the settings, and it'll work just fine for you. Um, K-Lite Codec Pack is designed for Windows Media Player, but does associate itself to some files that are played by RealPlayer uh, as well. Another thing you need to know, it is not illegal to rip CDG discs. Um, as a matter of fact, I recommend it. If you have a lot of CDGs, rip them to a hard drive, because your discs could get scratched, damaged, broken, you name it, and then your investment is gone. Always back up everything. Uh, I run a 2 terabyte hard drive that has nothing but my DJ music on it. And uh, and that's just in case somebody steals my laptop or something. Um, it's also double backed up to another 2 terabyte hard drive, which I keep in my safe at home. Um, um, you know, it's not illegal to rip any disk to your computer. Um, if it was illegal to rip media to your computer, iTunes would not be in business. That's one way to look at it. So, don't feel like you're breaking the law. If you give your music away, then yes, you are a pir you're pirating music. You're helping someone uh, attain music for free. And that is illegal. So, you don't want to do that. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Download Audio Grabber if you've been searching the internet, trying to figure out how the hell to rip CDGs. That is the best way to do it. There are no settings to really mess with. Just click this button. I click this to normalize it. This just makes tries to normalize the uh, the audio levels of each track. Uh, that's just completely up to you. Remember this this right here will find the track and artist information if uh, it didn't find it when you inserted the disc. The only other thing you mess with just click CD, grab CDG tracks, and go here. Okay, and it'll grab the CDG plus the compressed file. And that is it. It will rip it beginning to end. It takes about, if you have a, a track, uh, a CD with 16 tracks, it takes about 8 or 9 minutes to rip the entire CD. Uh, CompuHost takes literally 40 minutes to rip one single disc. So, um, 
And CompuHost is probably the best karaoke software for running karaoke. Uh, it's about $179 for a license for that software. It's a little complicated to get started, but it, it works really well. But I want to show you something else. If you're just trying to run karaoke at home, let me show you something that's really cool. Let's just pick Party Time Karaoke. Let's pick this deal here. I'm going to turn my volume off. Now I'll just turn this down. Care of Fun Player is free. Um, works really good if you're just doing a, a little show for your friends at home. Uh, you download it for free. Um, I'll, if I can remember, I'll put the link to the website where you can download this. Let's just find a track. Okay, we're going to go to... Well, heck, let's just use this one. But I don't want to get in trouble for playing the audio, so let me do this. Let me back this down. Okay. All you do is make sure you select each of these. This is the WAV file and the CDG file. Okay. And then click open. And it will automatically play it. Another thing that's really cool is that you can expand it. Okay. Just like that. Normally the music would be playing in the background, but I don't want to play the music and get in trouble for playing the music. But this is how how easy Carafun Karaoke Player works on your computer without without tweaking anything. It also has multi-screen support, so you could actually plug this in, plug your laptop into another, uh, like let's say your flat screen TV with with a with a proper cable. You slide this, I believe, to the right, and it will appear on your TV. Just like this here. So, that's how that works. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe, because I'll be adding a lot more videos. You know, I'm, I'm into all kinds of different things, so I like to add videos anytime I find something uh, that can be helpful to people. And, you know, tr just make life easier, make you have fun a little bit better, you know, whatever it is. But... Thanks for watching, and uh, be on the lookout for another video on how to correctly organize your music library. That's going to be the next video I put out, I think. Appreciate it.